The prosecution invites this court to note that on 20th day of September 2018, the deceased Monica Nyaweda Kimani lifeless body was found inside a bathtub with her throat brutally slit and hands tied. The court is invited to note that the post-mortem report produced by Dr. Peter Ndegwa confirmed that the deceased Monica Nyawira Kimani died due to severe neck injuries due to a sharp force. The court is being invited to consider that there was serious and grievous harm occasioned to the deceased. The court has been invited to consider that the weapon used was a dangerous weapon and that the offense was an intricate planning. There was intricate planning of the offense. And in capital letters, the court has been invited to note that there was no degree of provocation from the deceased person towards the offender. And finally, the court has been invited to note that after commission of the offense, there was an attempt to conceal the evidence. Not finally, there's one more. The court has been invited to consider that the crime had serious uh, physiological and physical harm to the victim and the family. Based on these factors, the prosecution argues that this court should meet out the sentence as provided for under the law. They have invited this court to note that despite the decision in the case of Muratetu, the only thing that that case did was to declare, and I will put it clearly, that the mandatory, and I will repeat, the mandatory nature of the death sentence is unconstitutional, and that it did not declare the death sentence unconstitutional. And so without going into other areas of submissions which are reflected in my judgment hearing, the prosecution invited this court to pronounce a death sentence. The victim's family in their submissions dated 7th of March drew the court's attention to the sentence provided for the offense of murder, which sentence is stipulated under section 204 which says that a person convicted of the offense of murder shall suffer death. They led the court through the objectives of sentence, which I've spoken to and therefore I'll not repeat. And they invited the court to take cognizance of the fact that the accused person before the court did not play a peripheral role in the commission of the offense but he was the main perpetrator of the offense. In that they are saying that he did not only steal an ID card of a third party, but he used it to disguise his identity, changed his cloth and went to the deceased house and brutally murdered her. They described the murder, murder as being cold-blooded, ghastly, and barbaric. They have invited this court to consider that no amount of monetary compensation can ever bring the deceased back. And they have invited this court to note that the death of the deceased occasioned the family a lot of economic loss as the business of the family that she was manning in South Sudan collapsed. And that it was the only means of income 
for the family.